whatever happens with, let's say, a lot of biomarkers that can actually predict and are related to COVID-19, they are just started with the very, very, actually, moderate symptoms, and they, they are going to escalate. So when it comes to the COVID-19, uh, this is uh, all very relevant because there is a problem in people getting infected at the one time, but they're manifesting the disease at the second time that can be five to 14 days. And there is another problem, which is who are the people that will degenerate, if you like, in a situation that, it, that requires hospitalization and sometimes even intensive care unit. So the problem is not just estimating the risk, but it's really when we know that the COVID-19 is starting. So can you talk specifically about the COVID-19? Uh, how do you solve those two problems? One is predicting when it's starting, and the other one is basically predicting the degree of severity of the disease. What the wearables can do specifically, uh, which uh, actually uh, makes this technology unique compared to other solutions, specifically for COVID-19, is that using the wearable, we can have a real-time continuous monitoring of the, the health care status of the different patients. So you don't need to go to the hospital to do the measurement and have your biomarkers recorded and evaluated. So wherever you are, you are at home, whatever you are doing, you can have your biomarkers recorded and monitored and evaluated by having any kind of the, the wearables with you. That's make it very specific for us to be able to have a real time and updated status of the healthcare of the patient. So having those information and having the, the real time data of the, the, the current status of the, the patient, but we can also see the trend of the, the, the biomarkers. By looking at the different biomarkers, we can predict where, if something is going to happen in, in the future, and if something is going to be wrong, because for whatever happens uh, with, let's say, a lot of biomarkers that can actually predict and, and, and are related to COVID-19, they are just started with the very, very, actually, moderate symptoms, and they, they are going to escalate. Uh, so... And in a very, uh, very early stage of initiation of every one of these symptoms for COVID-19, what happens is that even the, the patient is not able to, to understand that something is wrong. So even, let's say, with, with the increase of the, the heart rate, with having like a little bit change in the, in the pattern of the, the, the body temperature, and even with the breathing rate, when these patterns are changing, even the patient, patient may be doing cannot have the feeling of those changes, but the time that they are going to be a, a little bit serious. Normally, when the patient can feel those abnormalities and those changes, uh, is a bit late. So using wearable, we can have a more actually a smart sense of being able to detect these changes, not only in the biomarkers, but also in the pattern of changing those biomarkers before even the, the, the patient can understand that.